And they train every day to kill, man. Yep. You know? Yeah. Go ahead. Back in verse 8, it says, Whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. Their right hand is the right hand of falsehood, man. They like to bring deception. Okay? That's that's the walls of the devil, man. His, his deceit is his tricky. He, he, he likes to trick you, man. Yep. Have you believe in one thing when, when it's when it's totally the opposite? He got you fighting for, for gun control when before you you, you were about uh, 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 pro uh, protecting yourself, man. You know, people are being duped. Yep. You know, for the okie doke if you can't, this man will. Hey, only uh, the brother said something beautiful in the Boston camp this morning, brother. Uh, Imas, he said it was beautiful what he said. He said this 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 this, this man will always um well, how do you say it? He said he, it's like I, I lost how he said it, but but he was making a point of, about this devil's gonna always try to get you trapped up in certain situations. That that's what his, his whole MO was about. But because oh, that's what he's talking about, the eye sound. But the most high gave us the wisdom out of this book was the, which is the eye sound. That, that allows us to have the wisdom to deal with this devil and to see on, on different levels, the carnal level, to see it what's happening in society, and then on, most importantly on the spiritual level, to be able to make decisions from there. Because when was, that's why we can see this whole gun control, uh, it didn't work with gays, and with, no, with enough sympathy with the gays in Orlando had to shoot it, right? False. It wasn't enough when they were saying the, the black, uh, uh, what was that black group? Uh, the black, uh, I don't know, the black, uh, black Lives Matter movie. Yeah. When that, that wasn't enough to say that, that we need guns. You know, when no matter what situation, was, maybe the children will work this time, Sandy Hook or whatever. All of these situations now are supposed to be the situation that work. If you need to, you can even come to this side where it's on your, your back side. Yep. You know, but 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 he uses every 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 angle. But the Most High gave us that eye salve to be able to discern with all of our eyes, not just our two natural eyes, but our spiritual eye also, to be able to see the difference of what's going on. To know if it's a spiritual thing or it's just another wild of the devil. Yeah. That was it on that script though. That was going God, on God, God. Um, what did I have you pull? Isaiah. Yeah, go ahead, get that. Isaiah 10, verse five. O Assyrian, the rod of my anger and the staff of their hands that is that my was, indignation. That's supposed to be, uh, that's not Assyrian, was it? No, no, read, read that again. No, no, I'm saying uh, the, that ain't the one that they changed, was it? Oh, was it no, 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 that's Okay, not come, come. Verse 5. Oh, Assyrian, the rod of mine anger and the staff is in their hand is mine indignation. That's that's how you know yeah, that yeah. Uh, Esau is the sword of the Most High. Right. Even though this is referring to back back then, this was talking about the Assyrians who, uh, who put uh, the, the Northern, Northern Kingdom King. in slavery, yeah. but Esau is the modern-day Assyrian. Yep. And the, and, the, and the weapon in the Most High's hand, that's Esau. What well, didn't they not say concerning the red horse, a sword was given to him to take peace from the earth? And, and, and with that with that sword, he's waging war. And he's waging war on everybody. But main, uh, mainly so told you, uh, you tribes, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Every day he's at war with you. You don't even know it. You can't see it, man. He's at war with you uh, 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 spiritually as well as physically, man. All right? He's, he's, we're constantly at war with this devil, man. All right? Yeah, go ahead. I'll uh, just get, get it for him. If you need to, you need to. You, you, you brother got some water in that? I don't have water. I had a... Damn. Yeah, I, I, we we slipping today. We slipping today. Hey, just chill out for a minute, all right? Come. So what was that script? Isaiah 10? Yeah, Isaiah 10, the 10th chapter. 10, I was at 5. 10 and 5. Isaiah, yep, Isaiah chapter 10, verse 5, it says, O Assyrian, the rod of mine anger, and the staff in their hand is mine indignation. Go ahead. I will send against him an hypocritical nation, <laughs> and, and against the people of my wrath will I give him a charge. That's the most I basically saying. I'm gonna get this devil. I'm gonna let this devil uh, get off of me, man. Yeah. All right. He's saying I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let him go. 
and he's gonna have uh, wrath indignation on him. You saw how he did when, when we came over here in, in, in slavery, what this mm -hmm. devil did to us. You saw what he did to Gad, the Native Americans and the uh, Seminole Indians. That was, that was pure anger, man. Yep. You don't think that the Lord's gonna put that same anger back on his devil in these last days, man? Yeah. During the time of Jacob's trouble? That's, that's the cup that the, 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 the devil has to drink of devil. You need a double shot of that. He's gonna come down, man. All right? And you got Israelite groups out there. They ain't even telling you about what this devil got in stores for you, Jinx, man. They too busy worrying about having fun. Yep. And Nate that said, Nate really said, don't talk about together. Esau. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know if you reneged on that, cause you know you see videos now, and they they still they, they talk about Esau, but it's like why 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 give your congregation such a decree, right. only to turn back on on on, <laughs> on what you said, cause you know that wasn't you knew that wasn't right, man. Uh -huh. Probably somebody probably told him, hey, calm down. But that's for that's for every as we like to, to know. We all must know that this devil is our natural born enemy, and that he's gonna come down with great wrath. Even the everyday peon, he don't like you, man. I'm not talking about the confusion of face, I'm talking about the Edomite peons. They got bullets with your name on them. Your neighbors, they got bullets with your name on them, man, already. I dare he come ask for a loaf of bread. A couple slices of bread. I'm gonna blow you away. Some fruit off oh, my hell yes. The tension is really gonna be up to par when uh, Second Edges 15 and 16 is, yep. is, is, food, is going on. Food. When there's uh, great it's tribulation, a lack of food. All right, when it's a famine out here, that's when people really gonna show themselves, especially Esau, man. Hell, they show themselves in the midst of a, a, a crisis when a natural disaster occurs, man. Y'all know about uh, what happened during Katrina? Uh, what happened uh, recently uh, down there in Texas? Well, Hurricane was at uh, Har uh, Harvey. 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 He saw he he'll use a moment like that to just start killing you niggas, man. Yep. Is he think that crisis going uh, 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 go away? Stop that how the phrase goes. Yeah, well, he used uh, moments like that to justify uh, uh, taking you niggas out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, because he feel like that's like a time of war. Everything is uh, vulnerable. You know, yep. pe people raging, people uh, uh, behaving uh, instinctively, and all you concerned with is uh, survival, defending yourself, yep. and, and knowing that we're mortal enemies. The first nigga he see, he go, "Hey, man, we nah, we in war, man." Yep. You know. Hey, he, he pushes out the sentiment, "Dog eat dog," and that's not our natural sentiment of our people. Our natural. That's why they be like. Uh, Trump even said it. When America go gets uh, uh, issues, our people, the American people, come together and really begin to help each other. Well, how come you didn't go down there and tell the militia groups and the, the uh, uh, neo-Nazis? Uh, who was it? Neo-Nazis. The, them. Uh, no, I'm talking about um, the Red Cross or whoever that was that was killing people in certain shelters. How come you didn't tell them to stop doing that shit then? Why was that all right? Who who gave that order to to uh, to go down for that to happen? You know, when there are people really out there trying to help us, who told those militia groups that was had votes, people that had votes, to we don't want you here and be shooting at them? Who shooting at the people trying to help, trying to help rescue people, to get them to stop doing? Because Jake's natural instinct is to want to help one another. We're we're very compassionate people. Edomites, they're fucking um, uh, uh, murderous, man. They're, they're, they they don't give a shit. They're all they're all selfish. They don't they don't care about nobody but themselves. So. Yeah. They, they're the ones that push that dog eat dog mentality. It gets to the point where they won't even love their children if, it feel, if they feel like their children will bring them down. Yeah, it says. Um, this is verse 5 and 6, that's all I Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says, to take this. Let me read up a little bit. Uh, I will send him against a hypocritical nation and against. Man, that hypocritical nation is talking about you niggas, man. You yeah. tribes. Yeah. You're the hypocrites. Yep. You're you the said same you people. You do something and ain't doing it. Yeah, you, you're the same people who, you know, you got a zeal according to the Most High. You know what I'm saying? You know that there is a, a, a higher power, but you walk around like 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 the enemy. Yep. Like a like a damn heathen, man. Doing doing the work of the enemy. Yeah. 
You know, the scriptures say uh, my, my people, they show uh, love with their lips, but their heart is far from yep. it. Yep. And look, Isaiah called, he called you hypocrites, man. Yep. You know, holier than thou, you act like you got a, 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 a massive relationship with the most high. You know what I'm saying? You act like you know the word. You even try to come against the prophets. But meanwhile, you you doing all type of wickedness out here, man. You know? So the Lord's going to send these devils to come in and, and, and get you, man. All right? Go ahead, huh? It says, um, and against the people of my wrath will I give him a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire in the streets. Yeah, and that's going to be you tribes, man. You're going to be getting trotted, trotted down in these streets, man, by those troops. Yep. Okay? By those troops. They're training to, to, to get you niggas, man. They know that you niggas in the hood, y'all at war with each other, so y'all used to gun battle. Yeah. So when Esau come up in there, he already know what to expect. He knows y'all get hands on guns, that, that y'all might be a formidable, formidable enemy foe so to speak but if you take the guns there's no power in your in your fight yeah you no know? yeah and that's what's that's what's gonna happen man so the lord's gonna allow this devil to 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 to, to snatch you niggas up put you in uh, detention centers mm -hmm. and, and, and if and if if if, if you're able to be re-educated then you're no threat you're with the new world order but if not he just gonna execute you, man. Okay? And that's what they, they show you that in these movies. That's what they do. They separate you by family. They separate you by uh, status. They set you, separate you by uh, uh, your, your affiliations with, with a particular uh, political party. You know? You're, you're a part of some type of uh, list on, on, on their database, man. Especially the FBI. Okay, and, he, and 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 this devil is gonna, he's gonna show no mercy. No. Nope. Okay, and even and, and you know what, Jer, Prophet Jeremiah, he prophesied of uh, uh, this happening, man. Yep. And he and he prayed that as a curse upon you yep. tribes, because you ain't right. Yep. And because we're the, you, you're the main people that give the the, the servants the prophets a uh, uh, hell. Yep. You gave Yahweh Shai hell. What? You gave his apostles hell. You, you gave the, uh, the the prophets hell, man. You gave you you gave the license. You gave the go ahead to the Romans to kill our Lord. Yep. It's in the Lord, the 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 pilot it was uh who was it? No, it was pilot, right? Was it? Yeah. It was pilot. He was like, hey, this man did nothing. I don't know now. He said, don't worry about it. We'll take we'll take the blame for this. That's what his own people said. We'll take the blame for this. We just gotta get this man up out of here. Yep. All right, it's on y'all then. We'll do it, but it's on y'all. Yep. And, 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 and you deserve everything you get. Two thirds deserve everything they get, man. You gonna deserve everything you get. And I don't wanna be a part of that, man, straight up. I don't wanna be a part of that. Yep. Yep. I got something else. Um, second Edwards chapter 16, I'm gonna start up at um, 67. It says, Behold, the Most High God, Yahweh, himself is the judge. Fear him, leave off from your sins, and forget your iniquities. They're to meaning to repent. Yep. Which only the elect are going to return to the Heavenly Father and do the right thing, man. The rest of our people, let them continue being Americans, man. Yep. Yep. Okay? Let them complete, completely be a bunch of reprobates out there. Because this is what's coming to them. Yep. All right, and the doors, like we said earlier, the doors of mercy are, are beginning to shut. It's gonna be a point in time when we ain't gonna be out here. The Lord's gonna withdraw his prophets, man. And the cops just told us right now, like, y'all ain't supposed to be right here. On the strip nowhere, like, yeah, this is a uh, sidewalk. You can't, you can't put nothing down. Yeah. So y'all could be all right today. The water you have about Shimei Ashai, you know? Okay. Y'all all right today, but. When another cop show up. Another cop show up, you gotta, you gotta yeah. bounce. Y'all gonna have to deal with that. Uh-huh. You know? So wicked Esau is. This damn this this sidewalk's probably twenty feet yeah. wide. Thirty, yeah, it's yeah, big. Yeah. And he didn't say back up over there where it's real huge. Yeah. He didn't say nothing. I was I was looking I kept looking over there like, what about over there? 
Is that still counted as impeding? But hey, You're they just don't want nothing yeah. down. Yeah, they just don't want nothing here. You know? You know? Yeah. So hey, but the, that day, when that day comes when you ain't gonna find the men of the Lord, you better be afraid, man. Yeah. Yeah. When your eye don't see those teachers uh, trying to direct you in the right path, you better, man, that's when you really gonna have to uh, be afraid, man. You know? Because that's when, the, with, with the brothers getting ready to read, that's the days that we're approaching. Right. We ain't gonna be out here when 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 this when all hell breaks loose. When this when when this number tanks rolling up and down the, the Vegas Strip, we ain't gonna be out here, man. M16s and, and, and the troops sitting on the corner in the wraps and the tents and whatever else. Hey, there's bases all around this place in Las Vegas directly, but, but they have no problem. It won't take them long to set this city up, man. And completely militarized. I already know this city's gotta be set up for that, man. Too much money sitting around here. Yeah. But then they'll just let it run free, let the people control the city. And the reason I'm reading this part is for you guys that are sitting here watching and ain't doing nothing about it, man. If you if you if you know anything about this, you need to get out on these streets and, and, and make yourself known. First gather the information for the men that's out there teaching it, and then set yourself up within that camp if, if that possible with the most high. Or, or go set your own camp up or something, but get out there and make your make make yourself uh, present your body a living sacrifice to push this word out and help wake up the elect, man. Because what's what I'm about to read in the next verse? <laughs> if you ain't out there doing that, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna be ready for it, man. Sitting at home in a nice warm, air, uh, heated or air conditioned or whatever controlled environment ain't gonna get it done for you. It says uh, to metal. And remember, no he's going to start at his, his sanctuary. Yeah. Just keep that in mind, man. He's going to go harder on you. It says uh, to meddle no more with them forever. So that, so shall the Most High lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. That's what you want. And the trouble that's about to be, man, it says. Uh, J uh, Jacob's trouble. Yeah. Okay. It's, that's, that's Jacob's trouble right there, man. Because the most I gonna let you tribes have it, man. All right. All right. I'm, man, we talking about from, from the Negro all the way down to the Mexican, yeah. male yeah. and female, yeah. especially you women, children. Right. Everybody's gonna. Everybody's get it. getting it, man. Okay. He's not a respectable person, man. All you tribes is gonna get it. Man. And these troops, man, they're under uh, MK Ultra. They under spells, man. Yeah. They, they they get chipped up. So Esau is controlling them. So they ain't gonna have no feeling. When they come out here and do what they do. Okay? Just like that other black man that we saw, right? Yeah. It says, uh, verse 68, it says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. And that's, that, that's going to be that, that, that flood, that great flood, man. Yeah. Okay? That's that flood, man. It's going to come down. And if, I don't know if you guys ever been in, involved in the flash flood, but if you've ever seen uh, YouTube flash flood and watch what that shit does, bro, it may it does seems unsuspecting, but it comes in, a, in an instant and it, and it can move anything. It moves how, just just uh, uh, mudslides and, and flash floods over in um, what city was that in Southern California? Malibu. That no. Malibu, the one of Oprah House and all that was over there. Uh, I forgot the city. By Santa Barbara. Santa yeah, Barbara. It's over by Santa Barbara out that way. I forgot the name of the city, the main place it hit hard, but it was washing people's houses. It was doing everything because the flat, the, uh, the fires hit over there first, burnt up certain areas, and then the water came and it had no resistance, just ran through everything. Yeah. But that's how this flash flood going. This is how this flood going to run through you people. Esau going to set. It's already set up. They're just waiting to implement it. Once the guns is off the street, they're going to put their guns out here on the streets, literally, and then they're going to come through your houses and get you. It says, um, uh, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle, with things offered unto idols. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. Yep. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They yeah. shall. Uh -huh. Those that fear the Lord, so 
it's going to be happening uh, 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 nationwide. Brothers are going to be getting uh, persecuted. They're going to be coming for the men of the Lord. Yep. They're already trying to say we're terrorists now. Yep. Okay, but not just us. All you jakes out there that you believe, you have a belief, yep. which, which according to the FBI, if it's considered extreme, then you're a terrorist. Christian They're going to come extreme, for you. By the way, any Christian belief is extreme. Just if, know that. If, you, if you're a pro-black, you're an extremist. If you clicked on a Hebrew Israelite video, if, if you, you went, went to go see, see Black Panther, Panther I was going to say. <laughs> if you went to go see Black Panther, you on that list. They're going to come true. for your ass too, man. God. Yeah, they coming, man. Yeah. You want anything that have black in it, they're going to get you. Yeah. Straight, Straight up. up. Straight up, man. <laughs> you know? uh, it says, um, for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Yep. They shall be like madmen. Sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Still destroying and those that, that fear the Lord, man. Yeah. Okay, this man's gonna get real grimy, man. Yeah. Go ahead. He says, uh, they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Yeah, when they when they come to your homes, they, they get to uh you know siege all of the goods out of your house. Mm -hmm. You know, that's when they, they come in with the weapons, they check in everything, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? They, they, they search for stored food, and if you got any uh, weapons or, or ammunition or- That little, that, like in Katrina you know? and, and in Houston, they did it too, that little X with the different oh, yeah. parts. Yeah. That, 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 I forgot exactly, I saw one years ago, what it meant, but I don't remember now. But the, those certain things, the numbers or, or symbols, whatever, they put in those parts the, of the X. FEMA does that, I believe. Yeah, FEMA does yeah. that, it means something. Yeah. But they tell you what they got out of that house, who had what where, and how many bodies they found in there, all of that's in there. Yeah. That's how they, they go through it, they mark it off. Yeah, like, so you preppers, they're going to get y'all too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because all, all your, in a, in a crisis, all your goods and all your belongings belong to the government. Yeah. And remember, like, going back to um, when these natural disasters happen, like in Har uh, Hurricane Harvey, and even with Katrina, you're, you're, you're not allowed by law to actually uh, aid, help aid people. It has to be through the government yep. to help people. They got to be the one bringing you the uh, uh, food, water, pr uh, providing you a shelter, okay, uh, 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 you know, different medications or whatever it is, you know, first aid kits. They got to be coming from the government. And, the, and, and, and those different agencies are military, man. Yeah. FEMA, Red Cross, they really are, are militaries, man. The divisions of the military. They'll, they'll easily, they already uh, are, and, 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 and in that day will be put into position to become uh, entities of the military. They're yeah. just easily added right into it. Just like we were talking about, you can add um, different weapons upon that, that, that robotic dog, like military weapons upon that dog. Same thing with the military itself. They can add different entities right onto it. They can take these hotels and seize them military yeah. use, yeah. Walmarts, the FEMA camps, or whatever else, they're already connected into what it can be used like that. And then all those uh, uh, acts that Obama, um, I forgot the name of that one, the telecommunications, and there was another one where he could seize any property upon the, <laughs> upon the country to use for, for government use. I forgot what the name of that one was. Let me jump up real quick to this. Verse 46, it says, for strangers shall reap their fruits and spoil their goods, overthrow their houses, and take their children captives. For in captivity and famine shall they get children. That's what FEMA's gonna do to you. When, whether it's the militias, whether it's the, uh, the troops, they're gonna come to your house and take everything you got in there and take you captives and put you into these FEMA camps. And they're gonna take all your goods, they're gonna rape your wives and your daughters, maybe even your sons and you, who knows the way the world is going nowadays, but all that's going to happen to you. So, and they that occupy their merchandise with robbery, the, the more they deck their cities, their houses, their possessions, and their own persons. Yeah, they're going to bring it all to Eminent, them. Eminent domain, Salah. Eminent domain is the name of that. that uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, eminent domain. That's, that's right. That's the one. 
they passed that man where, where Obama passed it where they, he can seize anything and use it for uh, the government and military use uh, it was supposed to be under um, what's that called a war is it, uh, martial, uh, not martial law it's the other word for it other phrase um, but it's like martial law I forgot the other name of it yeah that that was pretty much it over there bro God, you, know. you want me to jump down? Oh, did you read that in the uh, seven, like seventy? I read down to seventy-two. Um, what it should be known is the next one. We'll try. The whole day in trouble. Start back at seventy-one. Okay, uh, it says, uh, uh, verse seventy-one again. It says, I want to read that because it's tied into the whole martial law scenario, right? It says, um, they shall be like madmen, sparing none but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord Yahweh. Uh -huh. For they shall waste and take away their goods uh, and cast them out of their houses. Yeah, so that's why the scriptures tell you you're not supposed to have the cares of this life. Mm -hmm. All right, that's why we're not emotionally invested in this place because what we're reading, none of that shit that you have on this side is not gonna amount to anything. Esau is going to take that from you. He's going to cast it out your house. All right? That's what's going to go down. You got a lot of niggas, you know, they, they want to prosper here. And you know what I'm saying? They, they like them IUIC guys, man. You, you can tell they want they want a, a major want establishment here, man. But Esau is going to destroy that. All right? A, a, a sword is being prepared for us. And, and you want to make birth? You want to you want to uh, be established here, man? This this this, this place get ready to become a war zone, man. A, a, a big ass pool of blood. So we ain't supposed to be worried about the things of this world right now, man. Our women they want to be all comfortable. They you know they 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 want the, the riches and the nice cars and the nice homes. They want you to take them shopping. All that shit is gonna be meaningless, man. You know? And then you're gonna be the main one that's gonna be getting spoiled. You're gonna be getting raped and all that. Yeah. Because you want the flesh. You ain't have the spirit. And it's not meant that's not meant for you women to um you guys let me say it this way, you guys you women don't understand that you that you're just completely carnal. Even though you may say spiritual things and, and may do some spiritual things. It's not because you were thinking spiritually, it's because you were still thinking carnal. It takes your man to put you in that carnal mind state, I mean, to that spiritual mind state, and get you out of that carnal mind state. But naturally, you want to be in a carnal mind state. You know, so so it, it, it takes the man, that's why the importance of the man, that's why Esau took the man out the household, but it takes the, it's uh, so important for the man to be uh, in the household to make sure that household is grounded and, and uh, It's for the woman founded. to be in the household. Yeah. But 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 yeah, the, the but the man got to be there too. That's what I'm saying. The man has to be there to, to, to guide to, her, to guide her toward the Most High God, which is where the real foundation is at. Because without it, we're all lost. Hey, in this in this time period, that's when um you know the scriptures say that a man shall be as a a, a, a hiding place. Yeah. You know, because 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 they're gonna need the man to protect them in that day. Yeah, hey, we're right too. You know what I mean? Yep. They, just imagine, and they show you every movie concerning these end times when it's get when it gets rough like that in these major cities. These women that that make it is because they followed after a man. Mm -hmm. And the man was the man clearly had the power to say yes or no to the situation. Exactly. And he only got saved because he's like, oh, fuck. You know, and he just went with it. Yeah. I'm gonna read that right there. Isaiah 32 and 2 it says, A man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest. <laughs> and hey, you may think just tempest is like a storm or wind, crazy wind blowing back and forth. Nah, man, tempest is that flood coming in. Tempest is, is all those uh, crazy situations that you women won't be able to handle. That's why, but see, the point that we're trying to make with it is you men, if you say you love your wives and your children, you need to get into this word. Because without this word, you won't, you won't be as a woman or a child thrown and tossed to and fro with the tempest. So to, to ground yourself and make yourself stable, protected within the tower of your house by Shemel Shah, you gotta get this word, man. And you gotta present your body and be ready for the battle. 
It says, um, as rivers of water in a dry place, at the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. Yep. yep. So the men, the men of the Lord, not just any old man, because these other men, they're going to be getting uh, slain. Yep. A lot of them are going to get sent off to the war and never come back. Yep. The men out here, they, you know, they're just going to be dropping dead from gunfire, man. If, if, if not that, then uh, a deadly uh, disease. You see, got people all over the country dropping dead from this flu. Yeah. yeah. They're not reporting that. Yeah, they don't want the reports because they, they know that's they, what they put it out there for. Of course. Hey, bro, leading up, I knew I was going to get sick soon because I was watching probably two to about a month. Yeah, at least a month, bro, six weeks. They've been, they've been lining these skies, man, okay. gritting them down, spraying them up, man. In the skies with all these king I was like, man, I ain't gonna be able to fight it off forever. You know, you eat two wrong meals back to back, your immune system breaks down, and it's, and it's a wrap for you. It could be just that simple. Uh -huh. Something if you 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 miss uh, two days of, of drinking a green smoothie or something, yeah. you know, taking your vitamins or whatever, and you can you can get caught up in this thing, man. Yo, you can still eat right. You yeah, can eat, still eat the greens, you. eat the you know the the, the kale or whatever. Yeah. Still get jacked up, man. That's what happened to me. You know, because even that's polluted. Yep. Yeah. Precept, real quick. Um, Isaiah 13 and 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. And, and the reason I'm reading these in particular because you men need to understand you're you're unvaluable right now. In the state that you, Jake's, in the state that you're in, you're only valuable because of what's hanging between your legs and only valuable to a woman. Mm -hmm. You know, but with the Most High and the, and the Spirit of this Ooh. Word, then you become valuable on multiple levels. And it's not about the paycheck you bring in, it's about the wisdom that you have and the knowledge and understanding that you can provide for your family and give from the words of the Most High God. Mm. That's where the real wisdom will come from. That's where you, you're able to, uh, to guide your household into safe places. That's where you're able to pray over your family and, and deliver them through uh, uh, pestilences and sicknesses and different ills that's going on and to prepare their minds for the great and terrible day that's coming. Because when the day well, comes, everybody's gonna trip. Yeah, well, well the, the fact that we're gonna be as a, um, as, as, as a, a covering from, from the tempest, get uh, uh, Job uh, the fifth chapter. The reason the reason why a man is gonna be more precious is because those particular men, the Lord is actually gonna be with them. And, uh, and throughout all the tribulation and all of you know, because the scriptures tell you that that day there's no other day like it. So in that day, when you see a a, a, a man and he's not phased by the, 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 the calamity and the hell and the destruction that you see out here going on in the streets all over the world he's not being affected by it you're gonna realize that there's something there's something about that man okay. <laughs> he ain't gonna get out of there you know I was gonna say 17 because because sure those those okay. those men that you're gonna see that's not actually being affected hold on, hold on. by the judgments and these different uh, perils you're gonna realize that that's a man of the Lord walking around man He's being protected, you know what I'm saying? Like, yep. the, the angels are gonna literally be protecting those men throughout every situation, man. The Lord's gonna be guiding his steps. Cause you don't understand your own way. It's the Lord that guides men. Okay? And, and, and these women, they're gonna be trying to figure that out. They're gonna be like, you know what? I'm with him. And then next thing you know, it's a crowd of women trying to uh, uh, follow you, man. Get that in Job. It's Job uh, chapter 5, um, 15. 15. Go ahead. But he saveth the poor from the sword, from their mouth, and from the hand of the mighty. Because he's going to be giving everybody else to the sword. You don't give everybody the business, man. You don't lay everybody down. Everybody that's wicked, everybody that's bound by their, their sins, mm -hmm. they're going to be given to the, to, the, to the slaughter, man. You're going to see the difference between those that's getting it and then some, and somebody's going to get touched by everything, right? Somebody going, everybody going to get touched by something, right? But only the men of the Lord, you're going to be like, they ain't really getting touched by nothing. They, they out here with all the sickness and pestilence walking around, and they, they ain't even really getting bothered by it. Well, we 
used to have it was the most high. So the poor has hope, and iniquity yeah. stoppeth her mouth. Uh -huh. Behold, happy is the man whom the most, most high correcteth. Therefore despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty. Uh -huh. yeah, and those men are going through the chastening now. Yeah. All right. The persecutions, you know, the scoffers and the scorners, you know, our, our, our families, you know, uh, uh, giving us hell, whatever. And whatever it is that we're going through right now in this truth, we're, we're, we're just being uh, chastened of the Lord. But ultimately, we're being judged now so that we don't get judged with the world later. Right. Keep going. He maketh sore and bindeth up. He woundeth and he make and his hands make whole. Go ahead. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. So we ain't gonna have no evil, because evils is gonna come throughout the whole earth. It's gonna go from nation to nation. The Lord's gonna be passing that cup of evil around to everybody. Starting with you tribes, man. That's right. All right? Go ahead, bro. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death. And because his servants, they're gonna eat. But you niggas, you're gonna starve. Okay? You're gonna starve while his servants eat. All right? Watch Book of Eli. Go ahead. Eli didn't look hungry. He was chilling, man. He had food. He had his little iPod. Yeah. He had music. Okay. He was in peace, mm. man. He had a little drink. Yeah. Yeah, that's why the Lord is making us, he's hardening us right now. Because brothers fast, and that fasting is doing nothing but making us so our bodies won't need the, 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 the food in abundance like we have, you know, from day to day. So brothers can fast for five days and eat and then be all right. You okay. niggas out there, y'all can't fast for a day. Y'all can't go, you know, the nigga woman can't go an hour without a snack or something. I got I to use the example of the guy that, one of the guys that fell out of this camp. We, we, would, we would have a whole camp fast. This dude could never hold up to it. This dude could never hold, oh, I, I had to, that was giving out free pizza. Like, man, what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> Remember that shit, bro? He could never do it. Like, I, I had to have a sip of water. I, you know, oh, I've forgotten. Like, what? how come? And then you wonder why he's not in no more, right? Well, that that's the thing, man. Like, it, we're, it's a setup for you to build you up in the spirit to be able to deal with things to come. But this dude couldn't deal with it. He wouldn't, he wouldn't let his flesh go end up falling out for that same exact reason. Cares of his life. Yep. And he was one of those niggas that's, you know, he he, he envied uh, 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 yep. the wicked yep. of what they uh, what, what they, they got. Yep. Yeah. He wanted to uh, have those possessions, man. So now he's out in the world still chasing it. Hey, I, I remember we was, um, I was dropping him off at the house or something, and he was like, man, I saw I saw this uh, saw this nigga in the range for I was like, man, how did nigga get that. And he had the rims, and he started describing the, the range, and I'm like, yeah. I, I, I'm trying to get something like that. I'm like, man, why? We, we got chariots coming. What is you worried about? <laughs> he was like. The nigga didn't believe that, man. He, 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 he looked like, it. damn, that's the right answer, but that's not how I feel about it. Yeah. Like, All right, you keep feeling that way. And it wasn't long after that, he fell out. Yeah. Uh, verse. So, hey, when, when, that, when all hell comes, you know he don't have that hedge of protection. Right. He's out of there. And, and every other Jake 